Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm gonna talk about the uh, installation of SOMO and set up SOMO environmental variables, install Notepad and SOMO tutorial. Uh, for installing SOMO, uh, what you need to do is go to the Google and then search installing SOMO. And then SOMO installations will come. And then now you can, uh, since this tutorial is basically for Windows. We are using uh, this version 1.19 and uh, it has also for Linux or Mac, but uh, it's not our focus of this tutorial. So download this one. And then uh, if you do not find this 1.19, then uh, what you need to do is search SOMO archive download 1.19 for example, 19 later on, let's say I'm just searching 1.15 and this link has the directory of SOMO, let's say 1.15, right? And then you can download the previous versions, okay? So, uh, but for now we have this one here, okay? So then I'm gonna just install just leave everything as is and then just install. Okay, that's it. So I have installed SOMO. Now what's the environmental variables? Okay, so for that, you need to go to the edit and then environmental variables. Here we need to set two things. So for that, again, if you search SOMO plus environmental variables, this page will come and then you need to follow these directions. We have uh, two directory path and SOMO home. We need to add it, okay? So for the path, we need to add this directory, right? So just follow my steps. So what I'm gonna do, is again go to the environmental variables and then here in the path double click and then here i need to add the new and then this one should be the path to the somo installations so go to the drive c and then eclipse somo and then b copy paste this and then here new Okay, right. And then we need to select again new. And then here we need to put SOMO home. And the variables this time would be just back. And then here, this one without the bin. So the whole directory basically. Okay, okay. And then uh, that's it. We are done with the variables and then install notepad++. As you know, we have notepad in our computer, but notepad++ is another free software, which is really good if you do some programming or the coding. So for that, just search in the Google again, notepad++, and then you will see these pages, just download one, one of these versions, doesn't really matter. Okay, then we are good to go. Then let's go to the SOMO tutorial. In the SOMO tutorial, I'm gonna cover user interface, net edit, and then create a simple network, okay? So let's talk about the user interface, SOMO GUI and net edit. Okay, so let's go to the download and then here, create a new folder named as a test, right? Then we will do everything here. So here, search net edit, and then you will see the net edit will come after the installation. And then you see the version is, you can use other version, doesn't really matter. So then here, I'm gonna say new network. And then this is the new network, right? Okay, uh, so this is the user interface of net edit. Uh, we have a couple of options. The most important one 
are network demand and data. Network is for the roads creation. Demands are the cars on top of the roads, right? And data is for, for example, having those uh, traffic volumes or traffic data collections or things like that. Charts, everything, right? So don't forget network, demand, and data. Okay. So uh, also there is another. If you go to the edit, there is here a Somo GUI, right? So these two interfaces are the main. Somo GUI is just to run and basically visualize the traffic, but Net Edit is for editing the network, for creating the network. Okay. So, uh, if I go back to the PowerPoint, you will see that the net edit, network demand and data, sorry, and uh, I have already explained about these things, right? So, now, let's just start with a quick examples. Create a simple network and then we have one lane, two lanes, add car traffic and signalize, unsignalize. So, network, click on this. And then here you will see the circle, right? Click on this set, create edge. Left click. And then again, left click. Okay. So this will create a road. For those who are not familiar with uh, the concepts of uh, the roads and road network, I should say the road contains nodes as kind of intersections or junctions right and edge as the link as the road basically okay so now we have created a road which is the one lane road okay so now uh, i wanna put one car so that we can have a quick start right so go to the demand and then here there is a create vacancy and then here, just set everything as before. Don't change anything. Just left click. You will see these lines. And then see finish road. The car is there. Okay. So now the next question, how to run it? We cannot run it here. Okay. So in order for us to run, go to the edit. Now we need to go to the Somo GUI, right? So for that, we need uh, this directory that we have created test i'm putting there here and then put the name as a test okay so now we have the gui and then this is the visualization interface if i run it then nothing will happen 30 seconds is so what happened so for that we need again to reload Okay, and then increase this delay to maybe 50. It will slower the simulation times, the simulation processing. Okay, so now if I run, then the car is there. It's still very quick. I cannot believe like how much it's very quick. So let's say again. So see this car? This car now is a rectangular car. Why? It's a little bit, maybe I need to increase to 50 and then reload and then the car this come and then now if i change this to the real world okay so you will see that interface will change and then if i run it again now you will see the car is real car it's not a rectangular one okay so let's get back to the network and then uh, let's talk about adding another link, right? So go to the network and then here, I have already talked about this one, right? So this is select mode, click on it, click here, right? Now right click, there are a couple of options. Go to the edge operations and then here add a reverse direction for edge. It will add another reverse direction so now we have one way and two ways right so uh, 
similarly I can add another car here right go to the demand this one and then add a the car here finish route okay you can change the, the color of course doesn't really matter I mean these are specifications that I will talk in future so now if I go back to the PowerPoint so we have created one lane two lanes and add car traffic 